this. Oh, come on, I'm trying. Get off. I said, get off. Mm -hmm. What's in this? Come on, get your kit on. Thoughts. Well, I'm glad they off. Let's have you. Go. News agents on Leighton Wall. You're right there. Over. I should hope so. Tell Steve to get a move on, will you? Sarge. I'll go with Con, you take Steve. Okay. Steve, move it. What for? Cup of tea, Bill. Oh, no, thanks. I thought you were to HQ. Not yet. Seeing the chief con later. Sage it himself. Sorry. Couldn't agree more. Last person I want to talk to about what happened today. I'm sure I'll be only too eager to point fingers in my direction. Where is everyone? Out on jobs. Crime goes on. Mm-hmm. Anything I should know about? No. Bill, how's everyone coping? OK. What about Steve? Seems fine. Took a couple of days' leave after the funeral. But he's a strong lad. That's what worries me. Doesn't look like she's out jogging, does it? Control for 5676. Suspect heading down Quarry Bank Lane and into the shopping centre. Over. See. Dad, I've got to go. It won't take a minute. My mate in property said it was definitely here somewhere. I don't want anything for the car. Don't be daft. Stuff like this might come in very handy. It's been sitting around the station for ages and it's been going begging. I'm only going to chuck it out. Here you are. What? Control for 5549. We'll head round the back of the shopping centre, over. Received. Better. Flap. Told you. Have you got a siren I could have as well? Please. <laughs> you gave me home earlier. Get out of here. Drive carefully. Control to Inspector. Got a possible arson, 36 Brayburn Road. I'll check it out, over. If you take a seat, somebody will be with you. No, I don't want to take a seat. I want to speak to somebody in charge. I want to lodge a complaint. Grabs me, he twists my arm, he does the cuff stuff, and he throws me in the car, Could screaming in agony. Keep your voice Covering down. up already? No. I've got nerve damage. Really? Have you seen a doctor? I don't need to. I know when my arms are damaged. Well, we'll need you to give us some details. Dave Patmore, by the way. Susan Blake. You don't like they were. In what way? Well, you're a woman, but I still want to see your boss. I may be a woman, but I'm also the superintendent in charge of this division. 
A woman in control, I like that. You won't if I do you for wasting police time. I ain't wasting anybody's time. 5676, copy that. I'll head her off, over. Run! Run! Are you sure it was my officers that caused this? Yes. Look, I'm taking legal advice and I'm going to contact the press. And I think I should get, well, what do you think, maybe five, ten grand compensation? When exactly did this happen? Thursday last. Do you know which officer it was? No, we didn't exactly make it first name terms, but there were two of them. And they behaved like animals. No, pigs even. Maddie, about time. Oh, sorry, Mum. Where have you been? Just checking on some visitors' details, names with CID. Not when there are people in here. Anyway, there's some more condolence cards to pin up, and this is Mr. Patton. If you give Maddie here your details, your complaint will be investigated. When? Soon. I'll make sure of it. Send someone else as soon as possible, over. Received, over. Inspector Holton, Newton Park. Phil Scott. How about the damage? Well, it could have been a lot worse. At least no one was here to get hurt. I guess we should be grateful, really. Whoever did this was not great arsonist. Taking it well. It took me and my wife, Julie, five years to get this place up and running. We've had worse setbacks. Has this sort of thing happened before? No, but it doesn't surprise me. We run a centre for underprivileged kids. Why would that cause a problem? Well, we help the tearaways. Kids with learning difficulties, behavioural problems. Young offenders. We don't just help the deserving. And some people have a problem with that. Any idea who? No. We're not that popular locally. You see, people like to help from a distance. But they don't want us on their own doorstep. Out of sight, out of mind, you know what I mean? Is the building insured? Yeah, but it'll be a battle to claim. Me and Julie set this place up out of our own pocket. It's a labour of love, really. We rely on goodwill. <laughs> and we can't afford the greatest insurance policy in the world. How'd they get in? Back door. Locks busted. Has been, for ages. Kids, eh? Tell me about it. Could one of your charges have done this? They could check. We can give you a list of names. Please. But it won't be any of them. They wouldn't do it to us. No chance. Well, I hope you're right. Kicking down doors and making arrests, Tiger. You're on a roll, aren't you? I'll be on a pacemaker soon. Steve did the hard bit. Yeah, Annie nearly killed me. What's wrong with him? So, what have we got? I haven't done nothing. Well, why run then? Exercise, like what you need. Is Steve OK? Well, we're not, so we'll <laughs> see how you can be. You should have gone back to the station. Larry wants the arrest, he can have it. What? I'm concerned about you. Yeah, I'm all right. I know it's hard. I said I'm all right. Mim! You get him up OK? Just. Is it like inside? A mess. Someone's got it in for them, man. They give me less the kids they help up, you know? Yeah, I've just been talking to these employees. You think it's strange that one of the other workers didn't turn up for work this morning? Helen Peterson. Could be off sick. I don't think so. I say she looked pretty upset when she left yesterday. Got the dress. I'll check it out. I think you should show your face to the station, don't you? I just got here. Station! Gabe 
Patmore. Thirsty last, yes. Probably a wine nook. I wish. Unfortunately, I think there's probably something in it. Last thing we need. Do you have flight letters on duty? What? No. And what's that underneath the keypad? These? Oh, nothing. It's about D. D? I'm responding to all the people who sent in cards. Personnel did a form letter, but it was a bit impersonal. So, Maddie gives me the names and addresses. You're answering them by hand? No. But we've had dozens. Fifty-three. Only exercise I get. I was very fond of her. I showed her around on her first day. But you're busy in here. It's not for you to be doing that. Then who will? Personnel? You'd hardly make the funeral. And the form letter is one paragraph, one poxy paragraph. OK, I'll look into it, but either way, it's not your job to cover for other departments' failings. Gabe Patmore. Brought in for interview for possible allegations of trading in illegal substances. Drugs. Slimming pills. Arresting officer, Larry and Steve. Peterson. Uh, yes. Inspector Old Newton Park. Uh, is your daughter Helen in? Uh, yes. Why? I just want to ask her a few questions, that's all. She said she weren't feeling well, so she took the day off work. Should I get her? I'm here, Mum. Your mum and dad say you didn't go into work today. Is that a holiday job before uni? Yeah. There's been an attack on a premises. Someone tried to burn it down. You don't seem very surprised or bothered. Do you know anything about what happened? You sure? You've hurt your arm. It's nothing. Looks like a burn. Did it on the grill. Big grill? Yeah. Crash your parents? No. Now tell me what's going on. Do you still live at 83 Laburnum Street, Ricky? I left this morning. Before you went on your shopping spree? It's not you're on about Sherlock. Oh, come on, think about it. The shop assistant's going to identify you like that. It could have been anyone. We could search you. Did they search you when you were arrested before? They didn't do it then, and you're not doing it now. Yeah? Well, we'll see about that. I did it. I set fire to the place. You're not going to tell Mum Dad, are you? We'll see. Why did you do it? It's all their fault. Phil's wife, Julie. She made it happen. Because she was trying to get rid of me. Why would she want to do that? She didn't want to pay me. Said they didn't have enough money. So you tried to burn the place down? I took a can of petrol from Dodge Shed. Went down there and got me on back. You're lucky no one was injured. I didn't want to hurt anyone. Well, that's not the point, is it? You're going to have to come down the station with me. What for? I don't want to. Questioning. If you come voluntarily. If not, I'm going to have to arrest you. Do they have to know? Maybe you should have thought about them earlier. Don't tell them. The daughter's coming down the station to help us with our inquiries. About what? It's nothing, Dad, really. We have the right to know, don't we? An attempted arson attack at the Brabant Youth Trust. Arson? What's that got to do with Helen? Helen would never get involved with anything like that. We'll see. You must have made a mistake. Helen? So, 
if you imagine that you've got a beach ball between your legs, right? And you're... Oh, sorry, ma'am. You want to meet? Yeah, we've got a young girl in custody, suspected of a till snatch. Shop assistant reckons he saw his stuff in cash down the front. We need authority for a body search. OK, let me talk to her first. Is that strictly necessary, ma'am? Yeah, so I like to speak to people face to face. But while you were away, the chief inspector gave... Do I look like the chief inspector? No, ma'am, you don't. I don't work like him either. As long as that's OK with you. What's more, if I give authority to do a body search, then Connie would do it along with another female officer. I know. So either way, you wouldn't be involved. And seeing as we're bonding, Tiger, does the name Gabe Patmore mean anything to you? Uh, yeah. Me and Steve arrested him last week. He was suspected of dealing in dodgy slimming tablets from Holland, but nothing came of it. Yes, it did. He's complained. Reckon somebody damaged his wrist when they cuffed him. I wondered if you knew if there was anything in it. Or if it wasn't you, if Steve had... No, definitely. Uh, no two ways. He, he was cuffed inappropriately. I thought as much. But I didn't mean to do it. I mean, it's these newfangled quick cuff things and... Well, he's resisting like mad. But you've trained with them. I know. I, I know. Sorry. Sorry isn't going to be enough to silence Patmore. Or me. Who are you? Superintendent Blake. I'm in charge here. Right, well, I didn't do it. I promise you, I didn't do it. I saw the cop car and got scared, that's all. I had a row with my dad this morning. What's that? Everything. I told her I was leaving. I was on the way to the station when I saw you lot. I thought maybe he called you. That's why I ran. And so I don't see why I should be searched. I don't think it's fair. But if you've nothing to hide, what's the problem? Oh, stripping off is the problem, yeah? I mean, it's bad enough in here without being put through someone calm else. Calm down, Ricky, calm down. Come on, sit down. You okay? Knackered and bruised, when you all like, grabbed me and pulled me to the ground. And they won't let me go to the bog. Well, that's because they don't want you to flush anything away. I told you, I haven't got anything on me. You could go to the toilet after you've been searched. Look, if you so much as touch me, I'll do you for assault, OK? She's hiding something. Search her. Your parents are waiting outside. So as soon as we get clear exactly what happened, the sooner you can go home. Told you. We'll have to talk to the Scots. Why? See if they want to press charges and check if you're telling the truth. Well, what would they know? Why do you have to talk to them? I've told you I did it. <laughs> you told us you had a fallout with Julie Scott over money. She'd be able to tell us her side. She don't know anything about it. OK. Uh, does her husband Phil? No. Why would he? Did you get on with him? He used to. What happened? I don't know. We were seeing each other. Hi. Got your message. What's going on, Phil? I don't know. What's Helen said? No one's told us anything. How long's this been going on? Ages, about two months. How old are you? Seventeen. How old's he? Who cares about your age, so? So? You're very young. Old enough to get married if we elope. Married? I love him. I just want to be with him. Does his wife know? I don't care. He's just so wonderful, isn't he? If he's so wonderful, why do you try to burn down his charity? I don't understand why. I mean, he loves me. He told me. I know he does. Ask him if you don't believe me. Oh, don't worry. I will. Steve! I've just carried the can for you. What? Patmore complained. Sort your head out. There's nothing wrong with my head. I am not known for my charity, and I don't like fawning to Her Majesty. I didn't ask you to do anything. 
Oh no, don't mention it. No, really. The pleasure's all mine. Check with Danny. I've asked him to search the girl. See what you come up with. Okay, boss. Bill said you wanted a word. Yes. You heard about our complaint? No, I'm tied up with a suspected arson. Why? Larry abusing his cuffs. We've got a young girl in custody moaning that she's been handled roughly. I'd be in charge of a rugby team. Can you just tell me how everybody really is? I'm a bit busy, Sue. Please, Jim. They're coping. Do you know how many people took up the chance to see a counsellor? Did you? I was busy. We all were. I need to know how my officers are feeling and nobody's talking to me. You know what it's like? Officers never talk to their supers. Supers are always cold and distant. Thanks. Susan, they're okay. I'm gonna call me Susan when she's cross with me. Yeah, well, I'm not cross with you. I know. You call me Susan when you're lying. Steve's not great. Everyone else is having to look out for him when they feel a pretty low themselves. I wish they'd tell me. And they won't. They worry anything they say, I'll get back to HQ. I'm going to HQ to fight their corner. How can I do that if I don't know how they are? I want to go easy, but I can't ignore complaints. If the chief corn finds out we're not performing, he'll crucify me. I see why. Because that's what Mike Bishop does. Some people pull the legs off spiders. Bishop tries to make my life hell. It's bad enough as it is. Don't let him get to you, Sue. Inspector Old. Boss, I need to see you. Both of you. It's important. Okay. Jim? A few minutes. What can we do for you? Nothing. I'm putting my ticket in. You what? I'm resigning. I just don't want to do the job anymore. Because of D. That's nothing to do with D. My heart's just not in it. You're doing fine, son. Is that why you're ready to get me out of bed this morning? You slept in. Again? Gave Patmore's wrists. He's lucky I didn't break them. Tiger lied to cover for me. I see. Look, take some more time off. You've been through a it's terrible time. It's bound to take a I while. I said it's not that. Don't you get it? It's not D. It's nothing to do with D. Resigning is a big decision. You need to think. No, I don't. At least sleep on it. My mind's made up. I don't have to make you understand. I didn't come here to ask your permission. I came here to give you this. I didn't have to accept it. You have no choice. Yes, I do. Steve, you're in no fit state emotionally to make a decision that affects the rest of your life. I'll leave this with you, shall I? Steve, hang on a minute. Yes, sir. Ricky, what's going to happen now is that PC Harp is going to search you, okay? To do that properly, we're going to need you to take off some of your clothes. Do you understand? I'll be outside. Right. Okay, Ricky, how are we doing? I don't care what he says, I'm not stripping off for nothing. Right, well, the thing is, if we do it, we get it over with. And if not, then the custody sergeant has to go and get more female officers. And, well, then you don't have much of a choice, I'm afraid. Let's get it over with, shall we? What, for just a minute? Well, that'll be a start. We'd still need the money. Well, don't look, then. Come on. Are you satisfied? Ricky, are you pregnant? Are you barking mad? Why? Just wondered. I'm so stupid. Now if I was pregnant. You need some rest. Take a bit of time. Well, go on. What do you think I'm doing? You do okay? Never been better. Just resigned. What? Take a moment I get to talk to him. Me? Yeah, you. I'm busy. What? You, I'm not, you know. What? Very good at talking. Well, listen then. I'm no good at that either. You'll have to try, won't you? Well, I think she's either lying or she's in denial. What do you want me to do about it? I'm a downtrodden custody sergeant, not a social worker. I know, but we chased her halfway around town. If she is pregnant, that's not good for her. She should be made aware of that. You know, she mentioned her dad earlier. 
I'm going to go and see him. Look, we don't have to do that. I know, but well, do you want to be left alone to worry about her? Jim. What's up with you, Steve? Uh, I told Tiger to take him home. Can't you go with him? I'm in the middle of a case. Sorry. Steve will come around. Sure he will. I have to. I'm not losing another officer. You're going to take his ticket to HQ. Why would I do that? Because it's the rules. A bit like you telling me you had to get Steve up this morning, you mean? I think you needed to know. Jim, I know you're caught in the middle and I don't envy you, but if you have to come down on one side, I'm sure it's mine, will you? Mr Miller. What's our Ricky done now? OK, Ricky, we're going to charge you. Do what you want. Just let me out of here. We will in time. OK, you're living with your dad, right? No, not anymore. We had a row this morning and left it home. Well, where are you going to go, then? Dunno. I'm not going back with him. You can't make me. True, but without a proper address, I can't let you go. <sighs> Don't you have any friends you can stay with? A boyfriend, perhaps? No. I don't care what trouble she's in, she's not coming back in this house. I've had enough. She needs your support. Brad should have thought of that. Did you know Ricky might be pregnant? What? We think she might be pregnant. Have you noticed anything? Well, why would I? We barely speak. Mr Miller, we're not sure that Ricky understands or even accepts what might be happening to her. Duff, bad. Look, it's all the more reason that she needs your support. It's all the more reason she needs a good slap in the stupid cow. What's she going to get herself pregnant for, eh? To spite me. Why? Does to me. Would you like to come through, Mr. Scott? Where's Helen? Yeah. Will someone tell us what's going on? She's fine. We won't be long. Thank you. What she said. Enough. Let me speak to her. One thing at a time. You do know she's impressionable, don't you? You do know she's 17. You don't want to believe everything she says. It's her word against mine. Don't mess me about, all right? I've already done you a favour by not making this all very public. So stop winding me up. Look, look. I don't want anybody to know about this. Oh, really? You should have thought of that before. It was nothing. Not for Helen, it wasn't. Has your wife got any idea? You're in a position of responsibility. You're meant to look out for these kids. Helen is not one of our kids. She's an independent woman. She's a naive young girl, young enough to be your daughter. She's old enough to do what she wants with who she wants, and if you've got a problem with that... I have. Uh... Look, I haven't committed the crime here. I'm not the one that set fire to a building. You want to remember that. You are not here to judge me. Well, I have, and I think you're a disgrace. Attractive young girls like Helen should be able to trust people like you. Oh. You do admit she's attractive, then. I mean, she's beautiful, isn't she? I mean, come on. What would you do if a young girl like that came onto you? You'd be flattered, wouldn't you? No. Oh, are you sure? You'd think about it, though, wouldn't you? And even if you wouldn't sleep with her, I bet you'd want to, wouldn't you? I've got a daughter, Helen's age. Oh, is that right? Yes, it is right. Maybe when you come down off your high horse, we can talk about this sensibly, without hurting anybody unnecessarily. So, can I see Helen now? Hi. Do you care to explain yourself? No. Do you know what really bugs me? You resigning just after I've admitted to something that I didn't do. You'd be OK with Pat Moore. No one's going to listen to him, are they? Oh, yeah. You might be the one who did his wrist, but I hardly went rushing to his aid, did I? And I distinctly recall a gratuitous headlock. And if I'm not mistaken, very forcefully, Suggesting where he should put his pills. Let's go around and see him. Make him retract. No chance. You're in enough trouble as it is. I hate the thought of that scum getting compensation. What have I got to lose? Hmm? Well, your pension for a start. What did you go and do this for? 
was trying to get back at you. You've just made things worse. I know. I'm sorry. How are we meant to be together now? Do me a favour, Scott. Please, Inspector. In fact, can't Helen just go? If I don't press charges, no one was hurt, the damage is fixable. I can still follow this up. Oh, and cause more trouble. What's the point of that? We're all adults, aren't we? No, that's the point. I can only let this go without charge on request of the owner of the property. And that's me. Helen's apologised, I've accepted, and nothing like this is ever going to happen again. Is it? Oh, I can see you. Of course you can. But no one must ever know. We've got to make sure we keep this a complete secret, yeah? Yeah. Promise? Yeah. Don't listen to him. Why not? I love him. So, um, can we go now? Go now. What are you waiting for, Tip? You're upset. If you want to chew the cud for a while, you'll have done. It won't help. I could buy loads of booze. We could talk about something else. Maybe that'd help. You can't drink. You're on duty. I'll take my hat off. Why don't you just go? No, oh, maybe you're right. Maybe you just need some space. I mean, I would stay, but I don't do fluffy emotion stuff. It makes me head itch. Well, no one asks you to. What's happening? Everything okay? Everything's fine. It was all a big mistake. Really? Yes. False alarm. <sighs> no harm done. Let's get you home. How was Ricky's dad? Oh yes, we have some light. Yeah. Well, let's just say it's not relishing being a granddad. Now what? No, nothing. We've done everything we can for this one. We're waiting for the police doctor to come and take a look at her. Oh, I won't hold my breath then. I know he's on the course of God knows when he'll get here. But that's it. After that, we'll charge her and let her go. Shall I stick my head in? Can't, it's my patch. I'll look in on it. OK. But what if there's something wrong? I mean, what if she miscarries? I can handle it. Have you ever seen me out of my depth? No. I like fortune. I like fortune. Oh, that's OK. I thought it might have been my watch. No, no, it was me. Well, I thought we could pop out for a while. Out? See some of the towns. Terribly pretty this time of year. Where's our Jenny going? Who's she going with? Jill, yeah. Kerry, yeah. Tony? Who's Tony? Oh, uh, Antonia, yeah. Look, uh, tell her she's got to be back by 11, and if she's going to have a drink, not to take the car, OK? See you, love. Trouble with the young uns. I'm off out, OK. Where? We know you've been peddling dodgy pills. I know you don't. It's a small matter of evidence, unless you're going to plant some on me, which I won't put it past you. Do you really think we'd let you win a case against us, then just walk away? We're going to be watching your every move until we've nailed you. And that isn't good for business. Yeah? Chance I'll have to take. Now get out. Not until you drop your complaint. It's just got bigger. This is harassment. Hey, why don't you cuff me again? Make me some more money. Because that's clearly all you're good for. Steve, out! Oh. Now! What is this? Shut it, Shade. I said no. I want him to drop his complaint. Not like this. I said I want him to drop his complaint. And I said no! 
What do you think you're playing at? Stop. It's tying up loose ends. Stop feeling sorry for yourself, will you? He doesn't suit you. Sorry? You were hurt. This is all because of Dee. No, it's not. Oh, get real, will you? You're doing nobody any favours at all here. Least of all yourself. What do you know about it? Well, more than you think. I am not going to pussyfoot around you, Steve. I can't stand people who feel sorry for themselves. I don't give a damn what you think. Well, you should, because I don't want to be running around after you the whole time. You are not the only person to have a bad experience. Yeah, so you've lost a girlfriend as well, have you? Wife, actually. She ran off with a special constable way back before you got here. I mean, a special, not even a proper copper. Yeah, at least she's still alive, isn't she? <sighs> Listen, the point is, sometimes in life you lose. And the sooner you realise that, the better. The hurt's never going to go away. But if you wait long enough, it becomes just like breathing. So stop acting like an idiot and get on with it. Come on, get in the car, I'll take you home again. Listen, I'm, I'm fine. I just want to spend some time on my own. Cheers. How's your husband, Andy? Oh, he's fine. How's your wife? No idea. We barely speak. It must be difficult for you, though, trying to bring up a family as well as run a division. Not really, no. I manage. It's working fine. Except that an officer was killed. Yes. I'm adamant that we learn whatever lessons we can from her death. I couldn't agree more. The criminal investigation into Dee's death's well underway. We've completed our internal investigation. Well, you've seen the report. I've sent copies to everyone in the senior management team. Chief constables, assistant chiefs, heads of department. Some of them are coming to the debrief. Really? OK, well, when's that happening? In about half an hour. What? I didn't know anything about it. There's nothing to worry about. But I'm not prepared. You just said the internal investigation was complete. Yes, it is, but I'm not ready to be cross-examined on it. Why, is there something wrong with it? No, but well, it's complete. Well, then, as long as you don't get emotional, it'll be fine. Phil Scott here? No. Can I come in? Uh, Helen? Ah, in the kitchen with Eileen. Everything all right? Not really, no. I wasn't really straight with you earlier. Helen was responsible for attacking Scott's charity. What? But he's dropped charges. What is it? Well, Phil said it was just a mistake. Helen, anything to say to your parents? Your daughter has been seeing Scott. Don't tell him. Helen? Come back here. What? I thought you ought to know. They both admitted it to me. Scott was trying to get rid of Helen, so she attacked the premises. He dropped the charges to cover up what was going on. I'm very sorry. Please go. Ow! Try to keep calm, Ricky. <laughs> What's happening to me? We think you're pregnant. <sighs> I can't, babe. I've called an ambulance. In the meantime... I don't want a baby. <sighs> don't worry. It's going to be okay. I don't want his baby. I hate him. Who? <laughs> Is he your boyfriend? No, not anymore. Is that why I don't want the baby? 
Hey, don't me last summer. Last summer? Pregnant. Uh, things aren't quite what you might think. What? It's a mistake, is it? No, it's due. Rick is in labour. Despite staffing levels being low, a point you make in the report, it still isn't clear if this was the reason that PC Milton was left isolated. There were other officers in the area at the time that had been called to the same incident. How many? At least four. In which case, should it not have been possible for someone to have stayed with her? Well, they were searching a large area of woods for an 11-year-old boy who'd gone missing. The logical action was to split up. And you feel comfortable with that? No, I don't. Well, I never feel comfortable that my officers often have to act in isolation. Hypothetically, however, if someone had stayed with PC Milton, would she have been pushed off the edge of the quarry? Well, that's completely speculative. Exactly. Then I don't understand the point of the question. To ascertain if a death could have been avoided. Well, there are lots of ways in which Dee's death could have been avoided. Really? I mean, given hypothetical scenarios, yes, but given the, the, the specific circumstances leading up to the incident, then I don't think that there's anything that any of my officers could have done differently. Ready, Padmore! And what about Steve Trainer? How's he bearing up? He's upset, naturally. He took some R&R &R and then came back to work. So soon? Was that wise? I thought so. What of his actions during the day? <coughs> yes, no doubt his emotions were highly charged. Easy, eh? I don't see why. But the situation he found himself in resolved itself safely. This was the incident on the bridge. That's right. Is it true that he and P.C. Milton were close? Yes. How close? They were colleagues. Were they more than that? Does it matter? Yes. They were seeing each other. And he was chasing after a man who pushed her from a quarry. Oh, hey! Listen, get out! Back off! He's trying to kill me! Uh, I'll phone someone. I'm a police officer. That gives you right to attack me, eh? It's not an attack. It's an arrest. Really? Uh, Did he lose control? Uh, uh, Sir? Was he out of control? Well, like I say in the report, he I'm wasn't... I'm not interested in the report. Rumour has it that he threatened to throw a man off the bridge. Rumour? 
Yes, any truth in that? Superintendent Blake? I resent the question. I don't care if you resent it, I want you to answer it. I came here in good faith to ask your support for my officers and all I've received in return is, is suspicion, criticism and, and now rumour. I mean, my offices are overstretched, the division's underfunded, and Steve Trainer is grieving over the loss of his fiancée. We know it's difficult. We just want to know the truth. Well, the truth is, you're not helping. And you know, I'd like to ask you a question. Since when did the police force ask questions about the death of a promising, committed 22-year-old based on rumour? And then undermine a grieving officer by pointing the finger at him? The force is not under scrutiny here. It is from me. shopping centre. Dead end, Sarge. Okay. Report of a fight on Cork Lane, possibly involving a non-uniform officer. That's near Patmore's place. Steve. On our way. Over. What do you mean, Steve? <laughs> Julie. I can explain. Julie. Ugh. Who's done this? That guy there. Want to tell me what's happened? Excuse me, sir. Can I take your name?
Why should I believe you? Someone on you fell. Look, I chased you because I saw you. That's all. Yeah, you're gonna forget that, are you? Yes. Why? Look, I don't like you, Patmore. I hate what you do. But... <laughs> Come on, just get down! Is this meant to make me drop the complaint? Because I won't. Just go. Before I change my mind. Do you want to tell us what's going on? Listen, he's lost it big time. No, I didn't. You're only going to make things worse. Oh, does someone want to tell us what's happened? He was trying to kill me. Shut it, will you? Steve! I didn't do anything. It's not as if he had any reason to chase me. He's unstable. He's lying. I saw him take delivery. Check his house out if you want. It just came at me. He needs locking up. Hey, shut up! What are you doing? I've changed my mind. I'm arresting you. Hi, Dad. It's your grandson. Isn't it? So, what's the verdict? We want to monitor performance. Of who exactly? The division. Steve Trainer, you? Very supportive. We're on your side, Susan. You're just back from maternity leave. A lot has happened. You need to take it step by step. Sir. Charged and bailed. Probably have to go to court. It's serious. Yeah. I shouldn't have told you. I'm glad you did. Will anything happen to him? Can you tell me honestly, if she were your daughter, would you have done the same thing? Come in. No, it doesn't matter. 
It's um, good to see you're still with us. Yeah, well, Tiger insisted. He said he'd rest on me himself and bring me in if I didn't. I'd like Tiger to be so caring. I miss Dee. I know. Everywhere I love, everywhere I turn is. And I don't know what to do. I don't know either, but giving up isn't the answer. Is it? Steve, I'll do everything I can. We all will. You're not on your own. You just need to take it. Step by step. Coming up, credit card fraud. These are the cards that have been seized. Excellent distraction technique. What they're concentrating on is the picture. Nice cuddly dog. Shops, robbers and videotape. Next on BBC One. Make the pace on the Merseybeat. Take the test at bbc.co.uk slash Merseybeat.